In this short video, we're going to introduce the new MCC application builder. So this is a graphical view of project resources, allowing you to use MCC as before, as well as viewing the relationship between your peripherals, drivers, and libraries. This block diagram view of your project modules shows the clear dependencies between them, giving added context to an individual module's configuration. Let's dive in. So I'm going to create a new project for the AVR128 DB48. This is the new AVR family with op amps and multi voltage IO. So, file, new project, search for DB48, click next, give the project a basic name, and click finish. Now, once the project is created, I can open MCC. So, immediately you see a change. In the middle of your screen, you now have something called the Application Builder. The Application Builder is an additional view of project resources, which allows you to see the resources that are being used in a graphical format. Also note, what you see is a combination of MCC features as well as content. You'll see under Versions that we have a Code Configurator Library 1.37, and under Available Resources, this shows up as the name of the content library. This name may change. So let's explore what we have here. Under System, you'll have the same items that we have under Project Resources, Clock Control, Configuration Bits, etc. And as we click on any of these items, you can see that that detailed configuration screen comes up on the right-hand side. Note that for supported devices, we do have Linked Datasheet Lookup here. So under Clock Selection, clicking on the question mark, we can see that this is handled in main clock control A. This configuration window is the same window that you would get if you clicked on clock control under system in project resources. So if we click on the plus to expand the microcontroller block, we can see two boxes containing system and peripherals. Expanding system, we can see the detailed system components. These represent the actual hardware of the microcontroller whereas the external block of system controls is the equivalent of what we would see under the system category in project resources. Similarly, expanding peripherals gives you a list of all the hardware peripherals on the microcontroller, such as, for example, the op-amp. Note the instructions here. Right-click to drag and pan, and scroll wheel to zoom in or out. So we can also collapse all and refresh to redraw the modules we have. Next, let's have a look at device resources and compare this to available resources. You can see under peripherals here, AC012, AC012, and then you also have initializers here. Initializers are exactly that. They contain initialization code for the peripheral, but no API. Then let's collapse these different categories and you can see that we have system peripherals, drivers, and libraries. Note also that we have use case drivers. Use case drivers are where we will find what was previously supported as click libraries or click drivers. So exploring libraries, we can see there's a crypto authentication library. We can see an RN487, which is a Bluetooth low energy module. And let's secure our communications with a crypto auth lib. So those are added and they are drawn in the application builder. RN487, you can see that this takes a UART. We can select a UART. As we click away, our UART gets added to the project. This is the specific hardware instance of the UART that we're using. Next, under Crypto Authentication Library, you can see that we can select a specific crypto device. It uses an I2C simple, which in turn has a dependency on a two-wire interface module. So we can select the one we need for our application, and we can now see those connections. To show these dependencies all the way down to the hardware level, we can expand our peripherals, UART and TWI, left-click and drag, to group select. So here you can see the setup of our project so far. Crypto Auth uses an I2C simple, which uses the TWI1 peripheral driver. 
and you can see that that uses the hardware module TWI1. Similarly, we can see that the Bluetooth module uses USART1, which we can see connected all the way through to hardware. We can collapse all and refresh to simplify the look and feel of our test application. So that was a quick overview of the application builder.